In today's video, we're going to walk through the database admin feature plugin and how it can support easy data inspection and navigation of multiple databases in a single project built right into your web application. The Service Stack Admin UI supports several plugins to kickstart your development and let you focus on building business critical features by giving you a set of easy to integrate functionality to help you deliver your solutions. The Admin Database feature enables developers and non-developers alike to browse data and schemas in the context of your application without any additional tools or changes to your infrastructure. This can make troubleshooting data issues in shared development and testing environments more consistent as everyone can see the same context of possible causes and reduce development time needed to build and support similar functionality. For existing applications that already use the admin UI, it can be enabled by just adding the plugin to your app host. The database admin UI can be used with multiple database connections by leveraging ORM Lite's named connection functionality and even act as the base of internal or local tooling to interrogate data just by adding the related connection strings. To get a better idea of the functionality available in the admin database feature plugin, let's create a new project with everything we will need and add multiple SQLite databases and browse, filter and query the data in its web UI. Navigating to servicedeck.net and clicking on the Get Started button at the top right, we will be greeted with the Project Template Generator. By providing a name and selecting the features Auth, Auth RDBMS, and SQLite, we will have everything we need to utilize the Admin UI and the Admin Database Feature plugin. Clicking on Web to download your solution and extracting it to a local working directory, we can open the newly created solution with your favorite .NET IDE. Once opened, we will see the standard four projects set up with multiple configure.cs files in the Appos project. These files come from the features we selected in the project template generator, so we can have a method of authentication, a way to store user information, and a configured database connection, which in this case is using SQLite. Since we need a user to log in and access the admin UI, we need to create a demo admin user by uncommenting this line in the configure.authrepository.cs file. To add the admin database feature plugin itself, we can just uncomment the line in the configure.db.cs files to enable the feature and add it to our app host. Lastly, we'll import a database that we can use in our project. Here we are going to use the Northwind SQLite sample database by importing it into our project using the servicestack.net x tool and the command xmix northwind.sqlite from our Appos project. Changing our connection string from memory to northwind.sqlite file and starting our application, we will be greeted with the standard hello service index page. Clicking on view API details will be greeted with the API explorer. We can then log in at the top right using our demo admin user. Once logged in, the profile page will have a link to our admin dashboard as well as quick links to the registered plugins. Clicking on the database link, we will see our Northwind database registered as a main database since we only have the one database connection registered. Under the default SQLite schema, we can see all our tables in the database listed. Clicking on any of these will present the table data in a grid that supports filtering, ordering, column selection, paging, export to Excel, and API link to the source of the presented data. To filter data in this read-only view of our table, we can click on the column we want to filter by and construct a filter by selecting a filter type from the dropdown and providing a value. Multiple filters and ordering can be composed together so you get exactly the presentation of data you need. For example, we can filter orders with an order date greater than July 29th, 1996 and sort by the order date to show the next nearest order. We could then use the column filtering to view only the data that is important to us. Paging through the data can be done using the top controls or you can use your left and right arrow keys for fast navigation. 
To preview data in a row, we can click on the row we want to look at, or we can use the up and down arrow keys to preview the data in JSON, RAW and preview formats and to make it easy to copy values of entire rows. If we want to export a snapshot of the data we see in the grid, we can use the Excel button to export into a CSV file. We can also change the number of rows we see per page by using the column menu to change it up to 100. And at any point, we can copy the API URL for the API query that generated the data we can see in the grid. We get all this functionality and we didn't need any additional DTOs created and it automatically has the database connection context of our application. We can add another database using the ORMLite named connection functionality. Mixing in the Chinook sample database, we can then register it as a new named connection using the database factory register connection method. Restarting our application and we can see both our connected databases are now visible and we can navigate the data of either. The admin database feature plugin itself provides multiple points of customization, so you can change access rules or filter out specific databases, schemas or tables. Here we are configuring the plugin filters based on database to change how the database and default schemas present in the web UI using aliases. We can also use the query limit property to change the allowed max page size in the top left grid menu. If you are building internal tooling for your systems, the Service Stack Admin UI gives you a kickstart by providing all these services and UIs so you can focus on solving business specific issues for your project. Having admin tooling built into your application means you don't have to set up additional systems for similar functionality and the context of your application means these tools need less information to set up, saving you more time for more business critical development. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any suggestions or feedback about our templates or videos, let us know in the comments. If you want to know more, check out our other videos and join us in the Service Stack community through our Discord and GitHub discussions. Service Stack is free for individuals and open source projects, so anyone is welcome. And as always, thanks for watching.